I have uh, a question regarding uh, decision, taking decision of uh, my life. I mean, so going for uh, a new job or uh, like starting a new business or, or going for education. What should I consider and what should I think before that to uh, think about that decision, to take that decision? So, uh, essentially what you're asking is, what should I invest my life in? But the way you're putting it is, what job should I take, what education should I do, that's not the point. Essentially, the important thing is, this is a life. For every one of you, your life is precious, isn't it? Hello? It's a precious life. If something is precious, where do you want to invest this life? Into what do you want to invest this precious life? If this is a worthless life, throw it somewhere. If this is a precious life, what do you want to invest this life into? If you look at it this way, you will find something truly worthwhile to do. If you think in terms of how to earn a living, how to get this kind of thing, that kind of thing, then you will do something silly that you will regret for the rest of your life. Most people are a regret, that's why they're going around joylessly because they're not doing what they want to do. They're not creating what really matters to them, they're doing something for a living. L earning a living is not a big deal for a human being. Every creature, every worm, insect, bird, animal is earning their living, isn't it so? With such a big brain, what is the big deal about earning a living? But unfortunately, because of ten to twenty generations of poverty in this country, because of external op occupations and invasions and stuff, because of that people have gotten into this mode, how to earn a living, how to earn a living, parents are constantly grilling their children, how will you earn your living? With such a big brain, when an earthworm can earn its living, such a big brain, is earning a living a issue? No. What is it that you're going to create? This precious life, where are you going to invest it? Are you going to invest it in something that's truly worthwhile or are you going to throw it away as a worthless thing? This is the important thing because what you call as my life is just a certain amount of time and energy, isn't it? Yes? As you sit here, your life is ticking away or no? You are young, you may not be thinking like this, but actually it's ticking away. What is ticking away is not time, what is ticking away is your life. Yes or no? So this energy that you call as my life, how are you going to invest it because it's going to get… if you are doing something truly worthwhile, it gets over before you know what happened. Only if you're doing something worthless, it feels like a long life. Have you noticed this? On a particular day when you're very happy, twenty-four hours, poof, it went off like that like a moment. You're miserable, twenty-four hours fe feels like ten years. Have you not noticed this? So only miserable people will have a long life. Joyful people, life goes away like that, as if it's a couple of days. It passes away like that if you are creating what you really care to create. So, one thing that every young person should do is, without the influence of the peers of your own age group, without the influence of your professors and your parents, without the any kind of influence, somewhere you must stay by yourself, at least for two, three days, and look at it. What is it that I want to invest this precious life into? What is it that'll be worthwhile today and worthwhile after fifty years for me to invest myself into? You invest your life into that, whatever it is. However small, big, it doesn't matter. If you see that this is something truly worthwhile and you invest your life in that, this will be a life of fulfillment.